Hi. On occasion, I receive messages from people saying, asking me questions and pointing out things that are going on in the business. And on occasion, I will get messages saying, you know, so-and-so said such about you, blah, blah, blah. And usually, I don't really reply to these things because it's kind of like high school. But I just recently did a video on misinformation and bullshit and how it spreads. So to not reply to something like this, uh, when it was an issue that I wanted to bring up in a video anyway, would be kind of a disservice. So recently there was a customer that came here to have something done and they'd went somewhere else that wanted more money and you know again it just happens. There are people that come to me and I tell them a price and somebody else does it for half as much and sometimes we are half the price of another place. And he decided to leave a one star review of the place that was more expensive. And the owner replied to it. Now what was interesting here is that what the person saying something about me wasn't a customer it was actually another shop owner and that piqued my interest enough to actually uh, log in and read this this morning so I'm going to post this here just so that you can read it just in case it gets edited just because my monotone voice is going to be fairly boring reading this out loud Now the first myth that I would like to address here is the myth of knockoff or compatible but worse parts. There are a lot of knockoff parts for Apple computers and Apple phones. There is no shortage of knockoff parts. There is a huge billion dollar business booming today on willing to send you just complete garbage to repair your iPad or your iPhone or it's refurbished or it looks like shit. But in terms of laptop LCD screens, which is what this customer came in to have fixed, you will not find knockoff LCD screens for a laptop anywhere, and here's why. It's easy to make a screen if you're a little crappy fabrication plant that's two or three or four, even five inches in size. But when you get to the point of a 13 inch or a 15 inch or a 17 inch screen, it is very, very difficult to produce them with any consistency in quality or good yield unless you are at the top of your game which is why the only companies producing these are the major players like LG, Samsung, Chime, AU Optronics, Handstar, and etc. So there is simply no such thing as a lower, you know, knockoff screen that you can buy for a laptop. That is simply untrue and it is bullshit. Now the second part of this is the part where it says um, Now the second piece of bullshit here is they have to use real authentic Apple parts to ensure quality and everybody knows that Apple parts are not cheap. So here's a screen that was taken out of an Apple laptop that I fixed about a half hour ago. I'd like to see if you can find an Apple logo anywhere on this part. You can't. Do you know why you can't? Because this part is made by LG, not Apple. There is no such thing as an Apple laptop in existence today that uses an Apple screen. Apple does not produce the LCD screen that goes into their laptop. What Apple does is they go to LG or Chime or AU Optronics or Samsung and they say, can we, you make a screen of this specification? They make it, then they sell it. Now the thing is, I have as much right to buy these parts from LG's brokers, from Samsung's brokers, from AU Optronics brokers as they do. So there is no such thing as an LTN133 AT09 that is an Apple part and an LTN133 AT09 that is a Samsung part. This screen is the same whether you get it from Apple or whether I buy it from a broker like Taiwan Screen Optronics or Hans Info or Weetron or PSI LCD. The only differences available are the differences in grade, meaning is this the, re the junk that did not pass inspection or is this the good stuff? So what we will do is we will ask, can you send us a picture of the sealed carton? 
So I'll ask for a picture of the sealed carton, and it will often have labels on it like so. So you see where there's a number five right over here? That tells me something. Now if that number was a nine, that would tell me something uh, completely different. So that's how we figure out if what we're getting is quality. Now, I would prefer to do it that way and buy directly from a manufacturer's broker than I would to go to Apple and pay a three to 600% middleman markup to get the same shit. Now, let's go on to the second myth that's in here because again, this is important if you are looking to purchase parts and not get ripped off. I decided to go to an unauthorized computer repair shop that sells knockoff generic parts that should be compatible and work. Well, the part that was originally in this customer's computer, according to the notes, was an AU Optronics B133 EW04. What we installed was a Samsung LTN133 AT09. Do you know how I know that this part is guaranteed to work and is not just a generic compatible knockoff? Because I actually opened Apple computers. And as a result of opening Apple computers, I've opened at least 500 of them over the past five years that had a Samsung LTN133 AT09 inside of it. So do you know who agrees with me that this is not a generic compatible knockoff? Apple Inc. And do I trust Apple Inc. or do I trust Mikey. Nah, I'm pretty sure I trust Apple Inc. Now, you see, the reason that this was so expensive, if you'll allow me to explain, is that a company like Mikey's Hookup is not actually interested in fixing your problem. So if you need a new screen because nothing is broken on your laptop but your screen and your laptop is four or five years old and not really worth more than $500, they're not interested in replacing just your screen. What they want to do is replace your entire assembly. Your entire assembly with the logo, they're gonna replace your hinges. Oh, but do you just want a new webcam? You should use, you, you could get a nice new webcam out of the deal. You can get a new Wi-Fi card. You'll get a new uh, everything. And the thing is, most people do not want to spend five or six hundred dollars to fix a machine that has a two hundred dollar problem. As I've said in previous videos, my target demographic are the people who are willing to spend the amount of money equivalent to the problem they have. So if you have a $200 problem, I'm not going to propose a $600 solution, especially if it is a $500 laptop that you've brought us. So to recap, A, there are no such things as knockoff LCD screens. There are no companies out there that are producing a 13.3 inch LCD, not a single one that will work in an Apple computer that are not one of the major players such as Samsung, LG, AU Optronics, and Chime, which are the companies that we're buying these from to begin with. There is no such thing. All that matters are the grades of the parts, which again, with many companies, you will literally find on the side of the box. Secondly, on compatibility. If you want to discuss what is and what is not compatible, all you actually have to do are open Apple computers. Again, if you're replacing the entire assembly, I understand that you may not have the knowledge that an LTN133 AT09 is totally compatible because you never actually see the LCD model. You, I understand if you don't know how to take this thing apart or you're too afraid to, and so you just remove three or five screws and put them back in and inflate the price by three or five hundred percent. Again, I'm totally welcome with somebody having that business model and I wish them the best of luck with it. All I ask is that you not denigrate the business models of people who seek to do something different. And now we're just getting into the personal section which is where it says uh, it only took two hours for the repair because they have very few computers to work on. I wonder why. Now, this is a lazy Sunday. I would like to show you exactly what it is we have in this store on a lazy Sunday.
This is everything that I am working on right now. And I am truly ashamed at the fact that this repair took two hours. Do you know why? Because this is a 15 minute job. And if it wasn't for the fact that three of us are working on all of this at once, this would have taken probably 15 minutes instead of two hours. How a job like this could take two or four days at any establishment in the world, especially when your idea of repair is replacing an entire assembly, which is three or five screws, is beyond me. And unlike Mikey's hookup that spends it probably more than I pay in rent for this place just on subway advertisements. Not only do we pay no money in local advertising in terms of billboards or posters to get all of those machines to fix, uh, I also don't even have a sign. Part of the reason, and I know I should not be giving away trade secrets, my staff gets me in trouble for this on a regular basis, is part of the reason that we have this business without paying for advertising, without paying for subway posters, without even having a store sign, is because we are not charging people $600 to fix a $500 laptop. And maybe, just maybe, it's not the generic garbage we use, but maybe it's just that I am happy making $170 of profit off of 20 minutes of time. So in conclusion, I wish you the best of luck, whether you have the same business model that we do, or whether you have the complete opposite business model as we do. I wish you the best of luck in everything that you try to do. But, A, if you have no idea what the fuck you're talking about, please shut the fuck up, because it is just complete misinformation. And as I've explained in the past, it is a disservice to the community to spread misinformation. And secondly, if we do decide to take the high road while a customer is just completely denigrating and bashing you in our place of business and we decide not to say anything, would you be able to do us the kind courtesy of doing the same when replying to your own Yelp reviews? Thank you and have a nice day.